Hello, my name is Jimmy Hoppers and in this video I am going to run you through my rifle spec warrior. I'm going to run you through their traits, the sigils, the runes and the reason why I have them equipped in the way that I do. Before we proceed I best let you know I am generally just an SPVP player, I'm not a TPVP player because I have no friends and thus I cannot play in tournaments. Um, I just enjoy SPVP to be honest. Uh, I'd rather fight my way up the ladder that doesn't exist, but you know, the leveling system I guess, uh, to get the fanciest gear I can. And so I'm going to keep pushing it until I get to level 80. Or at least that's what I'm going to try and do, depending on how bored I get. Beyond that, I don't know. In the videos I have coming up, I'm going to attempt to give you a few pointers in your SPVP playing yourself about how to just best gain honour, I guess, and play the objective. And how to give yourself the best chances of winning, or at least as, as far as my knowledge extends, which isn't very far, but I think I'm pretty decent at PvP. I'd rate myself about a 5 out of 10, I think. I'm nothing special, but I'm okay. You know, I'm no MLG Pro. I can't 360 no scope, but I like to think I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on. But maybe I'm just delusional. That's for you to decide. Now, as I said, I do use a rifle warrior in PvP, which in itself would suggest to most people that I must be a really, really stinking stupid noob. And I couldn't blame anyone for thinking that because the rifle isn't the best of the warrior's weapons, really. I mean. It's different from most of them in that it's ranged, obviously, but you can effectively take people down with it if you give it some time. You've got to wear people down with the rifle, keep dodging their attacks, uh, stay out of the way of, of whatever weapons they happen to be using. I mean, that really is something you can only do if they had to hand combat spec. Um, otherwise, you just need to time your rolls to get out of the way of their big shots the same way they'll be trying to do to you and wear them down over the course of a long and tedious fight. And what's more fun than a long and tedious fight? A long and tedious commentary. I'm hoping. Right, now on to my novelty Signet Rifle Warrior build. Okay, here we can go into a little bit more detail about just how my crappy Rifle Warrior is equipped. Or traded. Um, as you can see here, I've got 40 precision for each unused Signet as well as fast recharging signets. If you're going to use four signets, you might as well boost them up a bit, you know. Um, this is very useful, especially with a signet of rage. Getting to gain might, fury and swiftness for 30 seconds every 48 seconds is pretty bloody good. Um, and the precision one, it's not amazing. And if you're using your build well, you'll often be using your signets. You don't just want to leave on their passive abilities. Their passive abilities are good but uh, their active abilities are better, and if you're not using them, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, so generally speaking, whilst you can have up to about 160 precision, with four unused signets obviously, uh, probably only be having about 80 usually. In fact, you know, it might not even be worth having this. Um, crack shot, which obviously gives you 20% recharge on your skills, which is always handy, on your rifle skills specifically, or on your harpoon ones. Um, the ability to shoot through enemies as well, so you can hit everyone in a line, is pretty useful. I'm not entirely sure if you have to target somebody in the back in order to hit the people in the front. So target somebody in the back to have the shot go through people uh, leading up to that target, or if you can shoot somebody who's in front of you and have it still go through them and through everyone that's behind them. I don't know, which I really should have found out by now. Um, Tells Defense, which gives you 200 toughness when Crippled Shield Stunned or Immobilized. I think it's useful. Um, you do get crippled quite often and immobilized, and so having just that little bit of extra hardiness to take that damage is should always be fairly handy. Um, last Stand, excellent, because gaining Bounce Stance the moment you get knocked around uh, just prevents people from treating you like a dickhead, allowing you to stand up and do whatever it is you want to do and not get throttled around the battlefield. Um, I do also have Bounce Stance here by gaining stability when I activate my Dolly Axe in it, but I prefer to save this one for stomping people. Um, yeah, having, having as much stability as possible is not a bad thing. 
I think. I'm not entirely sure about that. And uh, mighty defences, so that when I do change over to my shield, because I'm getting trashed by a thief, I can quickly bring that up, gain a load of might, um, then stun them, or change back to my rifle and knock them away, and then go ape shit on them, uh, and then die. So, yeah, it's pretty useful. And here you can see my runes and my sigils and my amulet. Uh, I'm using the celestial amulet. It's a really good all-round amulet. It doesn't specialize in anything. It gives you a little bit of everything. And since this build is not particularly good at anything, because um, it uses the rifle, and the rifle is not a brilliant weapon, to be honest, uh, unless, of course, you're using it, and it is. Uh, for me, I don't find it generally is. Uh, you can kill people fast with the Rampage's amulet, and lots of critical damage with precision, but if a thief so much as hears your voice, you're going to explode, basically. They, you cannot survive anything. You need to... Of course, that's why you should be standing as far back as possible while shooting, but when people come after you or shoot you back, you will drop extremely fast if you go full up critical damage and precision with no defense or vitality. Um, so yeah, I like to use this so I get just a little bit of everything. A little bit of killing power, but a little bit more help in, in staying alive. And the condition damage helps as well with the first shot adding a little bit of bleed damage. And also actually, the sword adding bleed damage. So all the little bits of extra condition damage will help. Um, don't do a hell of a lot, which is why I don't think the rabid amulet or the other one with big condition damage is really worth it. But, um, you know, it might be. Maybe in a heavy defense, heavy condition damage type build where you just grind down your opponent over a long period of time. I'm not sure. Maybe it's something to try out. I probably won't be, though. Um, as for my runes, I have runes of Lissa, which allow me to gain a random boon every time I use a healing skill, which, will be, which can be up to every 16 seconds, which is nice, you know? And, um... Also, when I use my elite skill, which activates every 48 seconds thanks to the quick signet recharging ability thing, uh, or trait, as it's also called, um, you can lose all your conditions and gain all boons for 5 seconds. So that's really handy for removing all conditions and gaining all boons. Uh, but there is another signet you could use, uh, signet of stamina, which can also cure all conditions, which is very useful. But I figure since I can already cure all my conditions on this, um, I might want to go for something that will allow me to kill people a little bit faster. Frenzy, generally speaking, I don't always use it in battle to smash people down fast. Um, sometimes I do, obviously. You've got to be careful, though, because you do take 50% more damage. You don't want to be trying to wind up a fast kill shot whilst getting hit by a thief, because you'll probably drop faster. <coughs> You will drop faster. Um, but it can also... Frenzy, the whole quickness thing, can also be used for quickly stomping people. Which is really good versus thieves and mesmers. Because they, otherwise they'll teleport, teleport or teleport all over the place. Stability is no, no need. No need is no good for them. You need to take them out fast before they start flying all over the place. And the way to do that is with quickness. Um, or just by beating the shit out of them while they're on the floor. Um... Which the bleeds are pretty good for as well, actually. If you just slash them up a bit, put some bleeds on them, you can then concentrate on other things, knowing that they can't heal back up very fast. Um, as for sigils, I have Sigil of Superior Blood on my rifle, which allows me to steal health roughly one in three times um, with every crit, which is handy, because you do get hurt quite badly when people go for you. So it's always a handy thing to have just the ability to get some health back. Um, as for my sword and my shield, I have again add 10 healing each time I kill a foe, which is useful because it enables the constantly proccing healing signet to give you back that little bit more health every time it does so. Or if you just use the signet to heal yourself, it'll give you a little bit more health. And the shield, 60% uh, chance conditions. I don't remember putting this on, but actually I can see why I've got it. It's very handy. You can't always rely on having this up 
to remove all your conditions immediately and conditions can really grind you down quite fast the moment you start stacking them up so um being able to just get rid of them by hitting people is is quite nice actually okie dokie i haven't used this build in a while um that doesn't matter though there's no excuse for failing okay, first go to the property first thing is to go to the quarry how well, they got here incredibly fast they must have gone straight to the graveyard so they might be back here any moment now and they might not be who knows um, you captured the quarry I captured the quarry um Precision, stability, right, okay. Go for that guy, go for that. Go for the Where'd you go? Oh shit, I'm on my own, aren't I? This isn't good. Oh, that's not good either. Block. Okay, this really isn't good. No. Oh. Aha! Gym lad, run! Uh, this probably isn't going to work out too good. Put this on. Oh, there's a lot more of them coming. Hey, now I'll get behind this guy. Okay, let's keep trying to slow him down. Oh, this fucking guard warrior. Oh, oh, completely missed, that's good. Nope, that's one. Get that one, get that one. Quick, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Good job. Okay, that's it. Oh, no, it wasn't it. Um, no, don't want any rogues near me. Get this one. Drop him. Stability. No, oh, stability. Doesn't matter. We survived. Okay, let's get the heal on. Put block on. I think someone's coming for me. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, slow him down. That's it. Keep hurting him. Is there... Oh, I knew there was a thief near me. Bastard little git. Nice one. Well, let's shoot this git down. Nicely done. Somehow we came through all that alive. Nope, not that. Nope, not the Mesmer. Or maybe it was the Mesmer. Where on earth is it? Slow him down. Try and use that just to immobilize. Face the wrong way completely. Well done. Put Fury back up. And heal again. You lost the water but I can actually shoot the git. Nope. You've taken the graveyard. Let's go after him. Oh, he's in the heel. Probably kill me, to be honest. Fucking hell. Your base is under attack. I'm not sure which one it is. Your base is under attack. Oh. Okay, cheers. That's one way to Your deal with the Mesmer threat. As you can you see, our tremendous amounts of skill have uh, allowed us to survive Your base is up to now. Um, our base is under attack. Uh, we've got three people over there dealing with it. I am going to take the waterfall and then go and join them and trying to kill their lord. Actually, by the time they get in, we'll probably have taken it. Let's just grab the point. Grab the point and defend it with our lives and our gun. Yep, just another few days and we'll have taken it. Okie dokie. Um, seems there's people at the graveyard, so let's just head back there. There's a guy. Filthy little thief.
you've taken the graveyard. Yeah. Okay, we've basically done it, it seems. Okie dokie.